Dean and uh, Sylvia here, and, and we're here to talk to you as an intercessor, as a watchman for the House of Israel. We've both uh, moved here to Kansas City and others are moving here to cooperate and participate with us here in Missouri, the Show Me State. Now, wouldn't you agree that of all the United States, of all 50 of them, when you think of Missouri or when you used to think of Missouri, what did you think of? Well, that's real easy for me because I served in the United States Army. And in doing so, we had several major installations here in Missouri. So M Missouri has always been synonymous with show me, show me. It is the show me state. It was the show me for our forces in the Army. It is the show me even now for what God is doing. And I think this is really important because we sense having... Uh, begun to serve here really to do our little itty bitty part mm -hmm. as a ministry to raise up an intercessors for Israel. Not that we would raise them up, but we would bring the intercessors together Correct. around the world to be praying specifically for Israel in its return and its restoration. And for many of us at the altar of prayer, we've been doing that now for, goodness, is it 18 months now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now that we're here, it's almost like the Lord is saying, he wants the body of Christ mm -hmm. to show me. It's like it's not enough to say, I'm sorry. That's right. But he's asking for the fruit of repentance. Mm. What better time than the season of tabernacles, mm -hmm. which is about the fruit harvest, mm -hmm. is here coming up in a on, on a Lou one and continuing for 40 days all the way to Yom Kippur. But in between, we've got, you know, Yom Trua the Feast of Trumpets, Yom Kippur, which is the day of tomb. But this is 40 days where we can learn how to prepare our hearts before going before God so as to be able to ultimately go with joy yes, into yes. the season of tabernacles. Yes. Now, it seemed natural after doing the tent uh, on the Truman Farm that we would just continue that motion. But it seems God has been steering this thing differently. He's used two people. Oh, absolutely. J.T. Thomas with mm -hmm. Civil Righteousness and Stephanie Von Petit uh, with the M1 Bank that have said to us, why not set up your tent? Mm. Why don't you set up the tent mm. <laughs> in Forest Park St. Louis, that doesn't make sense. We're here in Kansas City. Mm -hmm. No, but why there? What, what's happened? Well, you know, when you first initially think of it, you're right, it doesn't make sense. But when both JT and Stephanie have been able to enlighten us with some history from St. Louis. In 1904, the Israeli flag was flying over the world's largest fair ever. And if that wasn't enough, they even made a model. I mean, the exact perfection of the Jerusalem itself, because God was already lining up. Because here's what you need to know. Jerusalem was in the center. And then all of the other nations that came were invited to bring from their nations and set up around. It kind of reminds me of to the Jews first, that understanding that Israel is the center of this mm -hmm. and that God has a plan and a purpose for Missouri, mm -hmm. but not just Kansas City, also mm -hmm. St. Louis. Well, many of us have learned that President Truman, who started as a farmer, would become the president that would, in fact, show the world that America would be the first nation to recognize Israel. He did that in 1948. But what were his influences before then? We believe St. Louis, mm -hmm. Missouri played a major part of that just because the World's Fair, 1904. 44 the, years earlier. The Israeli flag mm -hmm. goes up mm -hmm. and that would in fact be the flag, a likeness of it, mm -hmm. that would be used today. More than that, and it, when sometimes when you say the word model, like me as a boy, you know, I think of taking my little glue and making my little, this was a scale living model. It was like they brought the old city of Jerusalem and on 10 acres built the Temple Mount, cobble streets, uh, the Holy Sepulcher, okay, the Western Wall, and you could walk in Jerusalem. It's amazing. In St. Louis. How amazing is that in St. Louis? Are you hearing what we're saying? 
St. Louis, a full scale model of Jerusalem. This led to a American Zionist movement. Mm -hmm. A fella, for example, by the name of Simon Goldman, came out of the pogroms in Russia, ended up in England, somehow attached himself to Herzl. Herzl started saying, hmm, we need to we need to move this land that would be for the Jewish people to a place called Uganda. Mm. Do that Sylvia thing. Ah, here you go. What the world? No, no, it wasn't going to happen. He hears about the World's Fair, Jerusalem being set up in St. Louis. Mm. He says, there's some people there I could work with. He ends up in St. Louis. 1904 actually was the year Herzl passed away. Wow. And he says, we're not waiting for a political movement to establish Israel. He says, if you're ready to believe what God says, let's go. Mm. And started several movements, Lovers of Zion. I think it was called the Palestine mm. Movement. And the long and the short, Perea in the Galilee. Now, this is where it gets personal. Okay. Haim, my son-in-law, mm you know, is part of a congregation in Perea wow. uh, with my daughter mm -hmm. and, and grandkids. Not only that, that uh, congregation has been very strongly supporting of the Ali Return Center mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. the Galilee. He established it in the early 1900s. He died there. Wow. Uh, we have since found a granddaughter that was there in 1980 and mm. we're still looking. But the long and the short is a Zionist movement moved out from St. Louis, touching America, touching the world. More than that, the influence on President Truman, mm -hmm. Clark Clifford, his legal assistant, served five U.S. presidents, was in the office mm -hmm. advising, Clark Clifford advised President Truman. Thurman, Rabbi Thurman, brought the Jewish community to meet his partner and help him go to Washington, D.C. to meet with Truman when he was there. So what we want to do is we want to bring the Show Me State together with altar of prayer with Israel. And we want to be able to what? As one. We want to tabernacle together as one. We want you to understand that this isn't something that just started today, last week, or will be next week or next month. God is all in this. We have laid it out to you where God began this. Remember the scripture that says he who began a good work is faithful to complete it. We believe that we're in the middle of what God is doing and we're inviting you to come, AOP, altar of prayer, where we can tabernacle as one. Every nation, every tribe, every tongue. Let's get involved in what God is doing now. Please look on the web page. Krista's done some amazing things to help us get a little information to know how to prayer, but together we are gonna pray for the next 40 days through all the way to Yom Kippur, we're going to tabernacle, and we want to bring you under the big tent this year in St. Louis, yes. Forest Park, where the World's Fair was in 1904. Mm -hmm.